Hey, Chris Anthony here. I am standing up on top of Mount Belvedere here in Italy. Just scrambled up through the shrubs there, all cut up from all the thorns. I made it to the top of this uh, peak right here. It is a tribute to the 10th Mountain Division. And what it says is during the Second World War, this is the Gothic line between 1944 and 1945. In memory of the soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division, U.S., and all those who fought on these mountains and gave their lives for freedom of our country, the municipality of Lozano in Belvedere, in the name of all its citizens, with gratitude, Mount Belvedere, this was dedicated June 2nd, 2006. And there's the signature of the 10th logo. Um, I'm going to take you over here that, um, to the actual highest point of Mount Belvedere. As we're walking over here, you can see there's some um, of the trenches that the Germans, Germans trenches. The Germans held this mountain as you'll see that it is a high point around the region here. Um, over there on the hillside is the town village of Lozano that was mentioned on that memorial. We are sitting at about 3,700 feet here. It seems like it's a lot higher, but everything on average in Italy is a lot lower, even though these are very mountainous country. We're in the Alpine Mountains. And this region right here, the reason I wanted to make this trek is because I've heard so much about one particular battle that took place that involved the 10th Mountain Division. And, you know, like so many um, of our military, they do these heroic things that you never hear about. This one, we definitely got to hear about. So I'm sitting on Mount Belvedere. This was held by the Germans. In 1940, this was definitely a lot. There weren't as many trees. It was a lot more barren. So this whole mountain, you could see everything that was coming up at you and they were just firing down onto the Americans or anybody that was trying to take them. But the Germans held all the high ground. They came down from the north. The allies were moving up from the south, trying to push them back. They were pretty unsuccessful because of the um, not being able to push the Germans off the high ground. and this good strategic positioning as you can look around and see where you're sitting. You have eyes on everything and can defend yourself. But I want to point this out over here. And I grew up skiing a run in Vale called Riva Ridge. That right there is Riva Ridge. So on February 18th, 1945, the 87th of the 10th Mountain Division at night ascended that ridge line in several different waves and snuck up on the Germans on top of that ridge line and um, took them. And it ended up being a three day firefight, and I think there was some 1,500 casualties. It was ugly. But they managed to take the high ground. And then the next day, they were able to ascend and attack Mount Belvedere, which is here that I'm standing on and take this high ground. I've for so long wanted to come here and just see and place myself in this area because I'd heard so much about it. Um, you know, being in Vail, we are so close to where the 10th Mountain Division and Camp Hale trained prior to this assault on Europe. Um, over there is Lozano. Um, mentioned that before I stayed in that village the other night and it's hard to believe when you look around at these quaint little villages what took place 70 plus years ago here but uh, Bob Dole came back to that village quite a bit because he was nursed back to health by the village and one of the mothers that was in the village I, I, when I came into the village the other night I was welcomed and um, one of the locals that was born here actually in 1946 took me 
all around and showed me everything so that I would know where to go today. The hardest thing that it is for me to understand, and I'm sure for the youth that hopefully will learn this story, is that how old our guys were that were in the 10th Mountain Division. They were uh, between the ages of you know, 19 to 21, 22, 23 years old. Some of them lied about their ages, enlisted early, and it was a voluntary position to be in the 10th Mountain Division. So they lied about their ages, got on trains, buses, hitchhiked, whatever it was, went to Colorado in what was called the Pando Valley that we refer to now as Camp Hale. And uh, there was a base built there to train this mountain division. And it was so many times they were actually gonna break them up and um, put in him to regular operations. But um, they were, the General Hayes held off and um, Eventually, they were inserted into the war in 1945, so pretty late in the game, but they had a massive impact. Came all the way up from Naples, marched through here, Bologna, and moved all the way through the Alpenine. So that's the south, headed north, pushed the Germans out. Eventually, uh, the Germans surrendered, May 1945. And then the story that I really want to tell is when they marched on to the Julian Alps and had to push the Yugoslavian army back into their territory. So anyways, it's pretty special being up here right now. Um, makes you proud to be an American, for sure. They did good things. So good memories, even though it was a very tragic time. So there's a little history for you about our America's first skiing troop.